Hi there, this is Rocky from Chidong Na Company. Thank you very much for choosing our second stone product. I feel it an honor to show you how to use our smart Wi-Fi alarm system, model WS1N. This is our standard kit of WS1N. It can include one main panel, one PIR detector, one door sensor, one remote control, and one power adapter. Firstly, connect the main panel to the power supply. Then directly switch on the power button. After booting, the power light is always on. With the built-in battery, first we switch on the power button and then press the SOS button on the main panel. Okay. This model of alarm system supports APP control by cell phone. Enter the APP. For the first time of using APP, we need to do the registration. Click the quick sign up. Then we can use our cell phone number or email to do the registration according to the instruction. After the registration, we can log in with the account name and password. Now I will show you how to connect the main panel into the Wi-Fi network. Please click the plus button on the top right corner, then choose the smart link mode. Input the password of your Wi-Fi network and confirm. Meanwhile, long press the SOS button on the main panel until the signal light first flashing. That indicates the main panel entering the smart link mode. Now we have successfully connected the main panel into the Wi-Fi network, and the code of the main panel appears in the device list of the APP. Now its status is unbound. We need to input the password of the main panel, and the default password is 123123. Now we can operate the alarm system through APP. Let's go back to the device list of APP Slide the interface to the left. We can delete or rename the main panel. For example, we can change the name into Home. That could be very convenient for us to manage more alarm systems through this APP. Okay. Now I will show you how to pair the remote control through APP. Firstly, enter setting. Then choose the remote control manage. Click add button. Meanwhile, press any button on the remote control. Then the newly added remote control appears in the list. Slide the interface to the left. We can rename the remote control. For example, we can change the name into that. The light interface to the left, we can also delete this remote control. Pair the door sensor. Firstly, enter setting. Then choose Zone Manage and click Add button. Now we need to input the name of the zone. Enter the newly added zone, click the Add button. Meanwhile, Trigger the door sensor by departing two pieces. Then the newly added door sensor appears in the list. Slide the interface to the left. We can rename or delete the door sensor. For example, we can change the name into front door. 
Now, let's test the function of this dog sensor. Firstly, we arm the system. Then, we trigger the dog sensor. Both main panel and ATP receive the alarm information. We can also disarm the system through APP. Here, the PIR detector. Firstly, enter setting. Then, choose zone manage and click add button. We can add up to 10 zones. Now, we need to enter the name of the zone. Enter the newly added zone, click the add button. Meanwhile, trigger the PIR detector by waving your hand in front of the detector. Then, the newly added PIR detector appears in the list. To light the interface to the left, we can rename or delete the PIR detector. For example, we can change the name into Room Window. Now, let's test the function of this PIR detector. Firstly, we arm the system. Then, trigger the PIR. Both main panel and APP receive the alarm information. We can also disarm the system through APP. Dear client, thank you very much for seeing this movie made by Rocky. If you have any questions or requirements, please feel free to contact us. May everything goes well with your family and business. Thank you.